All right, so I made it out of the beach, and I, my 5K just has it. Look what I got, a lily. This is a Pokedex entry right here. Got this lily right here, 661. And, yeah, that's what's up. Oh, you can evolve this. Oh, wow, I got 21 candies from this thing. So that's what's up. And we got an Aaron right here. Is it shiny, though? Uh, can we click on it? Thank you. And it's not shiny. So... There's this one part of the park where I'm at right now that you can't drive through unless you want to go, you know, crazy with it. Or you got a truck or something like that. Otherwise, you have to walk through it. And I'm probably going to do that. So, let me catch this errand real quick. Now, there's one more part beyond this that you can actually explore. But I don't know how far you can go. It, 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 it's, it's weird looking. So, I mean, we can check it out. So... Yeah, we're looking for more of these joints, trying to find the shiny. And I'm about to catch this one right here. So, yeah, stay tuned, y'all. I finally made it to the back of the beach. And I took in the surroundings. The lake that was mostly covered in ice. But you could still see some water in the wooden planks near shore. What I also noticed was this weird object underneath the water that were making it move with two items sticking out of it and the dozens and dozens of houses that were alongside this lake and of course a reoccurring theme that would go on here at Van Buren Park are the rules and policies for this park but despite the signs and the regulations I still managed to take in the sights alongside with looking for a shiny errand Alright, so I'm a little bit off the road, not the vehicle, but just me. And close to the water, which is right over there, but right over there is another errand right here. So, yeah, these things are all over the place. Let's capture this one. It's not a shiny, unfortunately. 806 CP, so we're going to catch it real quick. I mean, I thought I heard something or someone behind me for a second. I might be like, what the heck is that? We got a great throw on the errand. This should be a catch after the golden rats with the great throw. I mean, let's look. Yep, it's a catch. All right, so there's one spot of the park that I did not explore. So I'm, again, I'll have to park my car and make my way out and walk around. And then after that, more than likely, I'm going to call it a wrap. Actually, no, there's one more spot near the front that I need to explore as well. So, yeah, stay tuned, y'all. I spent a lot of time at the back of the park, or to be precise, on this so-called beach. I was still amazed that this place will refer to this as a beach. I mean, it wasn't big enough for a lot of people to hang out at, but there was plenty of water for people to swim in, obviously. As I said, I spent a lot of time here in the back of the park, staring at my surroundings, looking at the water in the sky and the ice that were covering this lake. And I wondered, what would it be like in the summertime at this location with not a lot of sand here with these wooden planks that seem so loose when you walk on them and with no lifeguards on duty I decided to put those questions on hold for now well I'm back at my car at the entryway to the off-road area and we got an errand literally right here where I'm standing at right now so let's see is it shiny nope it's not shiny all right 631 CP, we're gonna catch it real quick. I'm kinda of going through some golden rats. I had way more than 122. Alright, so this should be a catch, hopefully, even though I didn't get a great throw or excellent throw or anything. But let's check it out real quick. Yeah, it's a catch. Alright, so like I said, there's two spots that I want to check out before I call it a wrap. So yeah, stay tuned, y'all. I eventually snapped back to reality after staring at these surroundings for quite a few minutes and decided to leave the back of the park, leave the so-called beach, and look for that shiny errand that was around here somewhere. All right, so now I'm on the other side of the park again, and we got another errand right here. All right, and it's not shiny. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be a grind to find a shiny errand. Uh. But I'm going to do one more lap get some shots of the place and then there's one more spot up front that i need to check out and then i'm gonna call it a wrap so yeah stay tuned y'all when i first arrived at van Buren park 
I came here with a goal, with a mission that I wanted to fulfill. And that was to find a shiny Aaron and document my findings and present them to you, the YouTube citizens. But like I said in part one of this video, a new direction opened up to me. A new path presented itself to me. And I decided to take his offer and just take in my surroundings and appreciate what was around me. All right, so we got an errand right here. Haven't done that lap yet, but yeah, let's check. Is it shiny? Nope, it's not shiny. All right, so we're gonna catch it 616 real quick, and we're just gonna keep it moving along, man. So yeah, here we go. After finally leaving the beach, I was still exploring the park to find any other areas where a shiny area might be. I eventually found another path right that took me to another part of the beach, an even smaller part. And I walked down there, and again I found myself staring at my surroundings. As the sight was just so overwhelming, I couldn't ignore it. And again, I abandoned my original mission for the time being. Alright, so again, did not complete that lap, but here's another errand. Let me check on it real quick. It's not shiny. Because one of these disappeared from the nearby list, so I had two minutes to get to one of these. I think this one was it. But again, it's not a shiny, nevertheless. But we're going to catch any anyway, because it could have good IVs. It could be perfect. I have no clue. So, yeah, I see two people walking their dogs here, and the sun is setting. So, yeah, we're going to do one more lap around this spot. And then we go check out that one spot up front, and then I'm going to call it a wrap. So yeah, stay tuned. Eventually, I made my way back to the front of the park. Because even though I ended through here, there was still an area I haven't explored. And that was a giant sled area. So I decided to walk up there and take a look around the area. Alright, so I'm near the front of this park, and we got a... There was an area here, but then all my Pokemon and sightings and nearby stuff just disappeared <laughs> oh here we go all right so we're back and the errand is back so is it a shiny nope it's not a shiny so again there's one more spot at the front that i did not explore yet and we're going to do that right now as i'm in the process of catching this errand so yeah stay tuned at this park a lot of questions presented themselves to me for example, what was up with the hay near the front of the park? And across the way, you could see a corporate building that clearly opposed the nature and the park itself. And finally, there was a bunch of bricks laid out in a weird type of way. I believe they were there for people to plant flowers and things of that nature. But the search continued. Alright, so I drove at this authorized area, don't tell, <laughs> but we got an area right here, so let's see, is this a shiny? <sighs> nope, it's not a shiny, and this might be the last area of the day for me, so 586, we're going to catch this thing real quick, drive around this building, then head on towards the front gate, and I'm going to call it a wrap up there, so yeah, stay tuned. So that's my trip through Van Buren Park. There's some positives and there's some negatives. For starters, all the rules and regulations, not to mention the policies, some you wouldn't even believe. The jungle gyms that was located at the park, none of them had a swing set to go along with them. The basketball court that was only half court, the soccer field that was only half a field, and all that pile of dirt near the jungle gyms, not to mention that tarp that was near this jungle gym as well. But it did have some stuff that you would normally see at a park, like bathrooms and a spot for you to have a picnic. So while I was there, originally to play Pokemon Go, a new pathway opened up in front of me, and I decided to take it on this offer and explore it. While there, I managed to just kick back and enjoy the sights and take in the settings that was around me. So, 
this nature environment. The house is by the lake, along with the sky, and a few trees that still have leaves, that had lots and lots of leaves. I took it all in. So at this part, that is the home of Garden of Honor. I bid you farewell. So while I leave this park empty handed of a shiny errand, the pathway that was presented in front of me, I'm still going through it. So that's going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Go. More likely this will be a two part video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and while I was shooting this video and exploring the park, I just got hit with an idea and I decided to run with it. Like if you like this format, this will be a one, not a one type thing, but once of the blue moon type of thing. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this format or not. So after all of that, every errand that I caught, you all saw, meaning I caught no shinies whatsoever. This will be next until not, today is Wednesday by the way, but next week. So this will be an errand nest until next week, Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going to be here because there's a realm of nest I wanted to check out next. And I'm probably going to do that this weekend. But as far as me coming back here, it would probably be sometime next week, either Monday, Tuesday, or maybe even Wednesday. Who knows? So with all that said, man, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, the new Jay Gatsby, a.k.a. the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see you next time. And oh, yeah, I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys because I hit the 200 subscribers mark. Yes, your boy got to that milestone, and I'm now planning on reaching 300. So that's the plan right now. And for those of you who have not been keeping tabs with me, I am now currently at the halfway mark towards level 40, from level 39 that is, I'm at 2.55 million, or 2.56, I forgot already, actually let's find out, yes, 2.56 million, that's where I'm at right now, so the grind continues, the road to level 40, we are halfway done with it, so yeah, I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for liking, leaving comments, subscribing sharing with your friends if you check out the patreon i thank you very you know i thank you for that as well so yeah peace out y'all and i'll see y'all next time oh two oh oh subscribers <laughs> take care y'all